In this video, we're going to be discussing the radiological differential diagnoses for diffuse cystic lung diseases. The first diagnosis to consider is Langerhans cell histiocytosis, or LCH. This usually occurs in smokers. It starts off with nodules, which then cavitate to form unusually shaped cysts. These cysts are usually in an upper lobe location, and usually the sparing of the costophrenic angles. The next differential to consider is lymphangioliomyomatosis, or LAM. This is a condition that occurs in young women of childbearing age or patients with tuberous sclerosis. Differently to LCH, the cysts are usually of uniform shape and also uniformly distributed throughout the lungs. Also, um, a, a thing that is quite specific to LAM is that they usually have chylus effusions. The next differential to think about is lymphocytic interstitial pneumonitis, or LIP. This has slightly less specific um, appearances uh, than LAM and LCH, but um, clinically it's associated with autoimmune diseases like Schrogen syndrome. You can also get ground glass change and reticular nodular pacification with this disease. The other thing to remember when you see um, cysts in the lungs is to make sure that it's not a pneumatocele. So you can get traumatic pneumatoceles and you can also get pneumatoceles in PCP. In PCP you'll see bihylar ground glass change and reticular nodular pacification and you'll see the pneumatoceles in uh, the upper lobes. Let's look at the first case. This is a 35 year old male patient who presents with three weeks history of cough. He has a history of heavy smoking. You can see that his chest x-ray is grossly abnormal. If you look carefully, you can see some cystic looking areas, particularly in the upper lobes. The next thing to do for this patient is to do a CT. So let's have a look at the CT together. If we pause on this particular slice, you can see that there are um, bilateral thin-walled cysts which have unusual sort of bizarre shaped. Um, also, you can see that they're mostly in the upper and mid zones and crucially, the costophrenic angles are actually spared. In summary, this is a diffuse cystic lung disease with an upper lobe uh, predilection and given the history of um, heavy smoking, the diagnosis here is LCH. So the second patient is a 25-year-old lady who presents with a few days history of shortness of breath. So let's take a look at her images on the left first. So if we just stop on this particular slice, you can see that there are multiple cysts which are distributed throughout the lung. Uh, with no particular predilection. And if we look at the images on the right, and if we just stop there, we can see that there is a moderate-sized left pleural effusion, which um, turned out to be a chylus effusion, and this is a patient with LAM. This third patient is a 42-year-old male who suffers with HIV, and who presents with two weeks of shortness of breath. So you can see here that his chest x-ray is quite abnormal. There are bilateral reticular nodular pacifications, which are particularly in a perihylar distribution. Um, if we look at his CT, you can see that there is a ground glass change in both lungs in a uh, more of a central location um, sparing the peripheries and if we go to the upper lobes and just stop here we can see that there are multiple um, cysts and these are pneumatoceles which are seen uh, particularly in the upper lobes in PCP. The last patient is a 38-year-old lady who presents with a few weeks history of cough and shortness of breath. You can see her chest x-ray here on the left is abnormal with multiple nodular opacities seen in both lungs. If we take a look at the single slice from her CT chest, you can see that there are bilateral thin-walled cysts, particularly in the upper lobes. And also there are some nodules. Importantly, again, 
there is costophrenic angle sparing and this is another case of LCH and I would expect this patient to be a heavy smoker. So in this short video we've covered the main differentials that you should consider when faced with a cystic lung disease.